West Oxfordshire District Council has issued a new warning to Jeremy Clarkson following season three of Clarkson's Farm on Amazon Prime Video. Jeremy Clarkson's ongoing battle with West Oxfordshire District Council has taken a fresh twist as the authority issued a breaking law warning to the motoring journalist turned farmer hours after season three dropped on Amazon Prime Video. Minutes into the third season of Clarkson's Farm, fans were devastated when Jeremy was issued an enforcement notice by his local council, forcing his farm restaurant to close immediately. It meant that Jeremy was forced to give up his herd of cows and send them to the abattoir because they would no longer be viable, including his pet heifer Pepper, who had become a bit of a fan favourite after Clarkson decided not to send her for slaughter at the end of series two. Fans were livid with some viewers accusing West Oxfordshire District Council of being responsible for Pepper's death. West Oxfordshire District Council said in a statement that it had been working with planning agents at Diddy Squat Farm and that it had acted due to complaints from members of the public about ongoing lawbreaking. It said, As a planning authority, we have a responsibility to make sure that national and local planning laws and policies are followed correctly by everyone. We must be fair and so we apply the same laws and rules to Diddy Squat Farm in the same way as any other business. We have worked with the owners and planning agents of Diddley Squat Farm for many years, offering to help the business with planning applications and supporting them to diversify and make changes on the site. We have approved many planning applications for the farm, including the lambing shed, a barn and the farm shop. We do not want to see the farm shop close and we were pleased to see all the local produce being sold there from local suppliers. When we received complaints from the public that the lambing shed was being used as a restaurant without planning permission, we had little choice but to take enforcement action against it and other ongoing breaches of planning law or changes on the site which didn't have planning permission. On appeal, the independent planning inspector agreed with our assessment that there was a harmful breach of planning control and the restaurant had not been opened with correct planning permission. We agreed with the decision made by the planning inspector to grant a temporary car park at the site. We encouraged Tidley Squat Farm to make an application for a temporary car park long before the appeal. Hopefully this solution will improve the highway safety issues caused in recent times by the immense popularity of the television series. The work Diddy Squat Farm is doing to highlight the wider challenges faced by farmers is commendable. We continue to support farm diversification to help local farmers bring in income and we have supported other farmers from across the district with their diversification schemes. The council has always supported local farming and we have also recently committed to providing more support to local farmers. This includes exploring making it easier for farmers to diversify, supporting local food production and calling on government to support the Get Fair About Farming campaign to ensure supermarkets stick to fair buying agreements. We will continue to treat Diddy Squat Farm fairly and we will be happy to work with Diddy Squat on any future plans. Our door has always been open and will remain open should they choose to work with us.